The toys that are donated will go to various charities who look after children of all ages and needs, so the variety of toys is very important. Um, so there's children from, like, there's really young children, toddlers, there's um, older children, there's teenage children, um, there's children with very special needs. So, you know, all toys, all ranges of toys are fantastic. And, the, you know, some children, these will be the only toys that they'll get this year. Sort of everything from, like, footballs to kind of action men to dolls. To, and what we try to do here is um, find out beforehand so that boys don't get just a boy's present and girls don't just get a girl, girl's present. We try and be a bit more specific than that and try and find out what that child would like for Christmas, obviously within reason, you know, because we're a charity. And uh, we try to fulfil that need. And joining me now is Helen Crowther from the Adventure Farm Trust and the children who visit the farm will all benefit from the toys you donate. Now, what does your farm actually do? Well, what we do is we bring groups of children for holidays, day trips, respite and Christmas parties. So every year, over 3,000 children come to the Adventure Farm and they'll, they'll come. some of them will stay from Monday to Wednesday. We've got all sorts of activities for them. And then we also have children coming for days, families for respite and then Christmas parties, which are right in the middle of at the moment. But why the need for such a, a, a farm? Well, the children coming to us, they've all got very varying needs. Some have got terminal illnesses, some have got um, physical disabilities or learning disabilities. You've got young carers, bereaved children. So these children are all in need of a break away from their daily routine. And for one reason or another, their families aren't able to provide that for them. I see we've got a little bit of a, a party going on here. This looks great fun. So the toys that our viewers donate will all go so the, the children who come there can have a gift each. Yeah, exactly. We'll use some for the Christmas parties, but we'll also use them throughout the year because when the children come to stay with us, we give them a little goodie bag of things to take home with them at the end of the weekend. We also have children who may have birthdays while we're staying at the farm. So the presents will be used right throughout the whole year, not just at Christmas. I mean, it looks great fun there. Um, is it a really special time for children to come and do something like this? Oh, it is. I mean, the, the farm is a, is a magical place anyway, but at Christmas it is just... I know, it's absolutely <laughs> gorgeous, isn't it? I'm looking at this little fella here. He's just hes intrigued by our camera. <laughs> yeah, that was Adam. He's yeah. absolutely loved it. But yeah, I mean, Christmas is such a special time for children. And it should be a special time for children, but sadly for a lot of the children coming to the farm, you know, they don't get what we would expect to have at Christmas. So we make sure that we give them a day of just fun and something they can remember forever, really. And I'd, I'm going to pull on heartstrings now because I believe last, last year one little fella said to uh, Father Christmas, why didn't you visit me last year? Yeah. And that's terribly sad, isn't it? It that, is. That he, just the smallest of gifts mm. would make a huge difference for him, wouldn't it? Yeah, I mean, it, it's amazing. You, you give them um, a child a football and it's like you're giving them the crown jewels. They're so excited, so pleased. And it's something for them to take away and they can remember this great day they had and they know that there's people out there who care, you know, who want to help them, really. Community fundraiser James Lester joins me now. James, many thanks for joining us. Now, what sort of toys do the children that come to your... Is it a school, a community? We have a, a centre out at Old Trafford um, and where we get family groups in um, a couple of times a week to have a play and we have um, sessions for family members where they can relax and uh, we'll look after the children for a while and give the, give the uh, parents a bit of a rest. So I presume you need specific toys. What type of toys do you need? Anything that um, obviously kids are. <laughs> yeah. kids will do as kids will and um, do, things do get dropped and bounce around. So yes, uh, um, durable toys would be brilliant. And we just saw there sort of some sensory lights and how important a, a, a place is like that for you? Well, it's very, uh, sensory rooms are great because they, uh, they allow a child to not worry about too much distracting around the outside. They can just relax. It's a very nice, warm, comfortable room um, and it's a brilliant place where they can be stimulated. Things like fibre optics and the bubble tube that you saw there. Um, mm -hmm. It's a great way to stimulate a child. So roughly how many children do you have come to your centre Oh, we week? have um, a week. We have groups that are around. We try and keep this groups quite small so that we can provide, you know, individual support there. And um, it's groups of around 10 children. Um, come in a couple of times a week. Um, we have a big Christmas party coming up. So we need toys for that, don't we? we? Need How toys many for that. toys do you think roughly we need to be getting Oof. to you, you alone? Well, we um, be we're... greedy if you want. <laughs> well, we have three hundred people coming to this right to the party. Um, so yeah, if they can, if anybody can donate a toys for that, that would be fantastic. That is the gauntlet thrown down, sir, and we will pick it up. Brilliant. How important are toys to your children? I mean, will it just be delightful for them? Absolutely. I mean, it's 
kids love presents as, as any child would um, it's no different to that um, but I think it's also a big bonus for the parents because it's a it's a weight off their mind they don't have something that they don't have to worry about um, and it's a chance for the parents to sort of um, they can take a toy away we have something that you've shown earlier there um, where it's a toy library so the parents can come in take a toy the kids can go home bash it around and have a good time and learn bring from it, it bring it back when they get bored of it, swap it for another one. Together Trust has evolved over the last 100 years and today we deal with um, children with autism. We, have, um, we look after children with uh, emotional and behavioural difficulties and um, children, to young adults actually, with physical disabilities. We also visited another one of the charities, the David Lewis Centre in Cheshire, which helps people of all ages with complex epilepsy and learning difficulties through the specialist school and residential college, offering college courses, work and training opportunities. Now, many of the children enjoy and benefit from the toys that are colourful and full of pictures as a useful tool to aid communication through sign language. Other charities that will benefit from this fabulous appeal are the Stockport Early Intervention and Family Centre and Ashfield, Broken Cross and Hertzfield. Children's Centre. Now, it's time for a quick break, but stay with us as we see how a school in Stockport really put me on the spot. We're 